back to my channel and if you're new here hi my name is tina and welcome to tidy up with tina and i am so glad that you are here for another video so in today's video we have a couple of chores that we need to accomplish we have um some dishes we need to get done and the kitchen just needs a good clean all around and then we have some dishes that we need to do and then i just thought that i would take you um to church with me this evening um and I thought that would be fun as well and whatever else the afternoon evening takes us and so if you guys just um, need some clean motivation or you need some inspiration or just a good pick-me-up feel free to um, follow along on this video and without any further ado let's just get straight into it. Thank you. 
So here I am putting all of my flavored packets for my water in this mug and I was leaving it out so that way it's just easy access for me. Um, I struggle with drinking water and I have found that these flavoring packets have been a really big help in getting me to drink more water and to reach my water goals in my weight loss journey and just in being more aware of what I'm putting into my body as well and plus getting rid of all of those boxes helped me make more space in my cabinets for um, other things like snacks and stuff so that was a plus too but yeah so if you guys are looking to reach water goals i highly suggest getting those flavoring packets they're all zero sugar my favorite one is a sun-kissed strawberry and just add that to your water and give it a little extra flavor and it will help you so that is my tip for y'all and like I said, I'm just putting in the mug and keeping it out. I'm telling you, it's the devil that's trying to, they're trying to, 
the devil himself yep. trying to do away with y'all. What are you trying to do? Trying to do away with the woman and all her responsibilities and all the things that she can bring about by way of the next generation. Yep. Goodness gracious. Yep. Yeah, man. I, I flat out, one, probably one of the only times in my life, I flat out copied almost word for word a message and come up here and preached it to y'all a couple of different times. And I told you both times whose message it was and, 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 and where I got it. And Jack Howes preached a message years and years and years ago, and it's been stolen all across the board by a bunch of people, if I was the devil. And I'm telling you what, he, and he got in on it. If I was the devil... I would go after the kindest. I would go after the, the, the most compassionate. I would go after, and he just on and on and on and on, and every one of them was a woman. Right. I'd go after the kindest, and I'd make them mean. I'd teach them how to cuss like the sailors, and I'd teach them how to fight, and how to drink, and go to bars, and hang out. And I, I'm telling you, if I, that's exactly what the devil's done. Right. If you can take away a mom, a woman, there's there's pretty much, you say, well, you know, I, they need a daddy. I understand that. That's God's design. But I just, maybe this is just my own personal opinion. You, you, you probably get by without the male figure easier than you would a woman. And again, that's just me throwing that out there. I just couldn't imagine. You know what I mean? Just, just not, because, because it, I don't even know why all this is coming out like it is, but let me just tell you this right here. Most people, most even church people, don't feel loved. You take away somebody's mama. Mm -hmm. Man. So anyway, I don't believe this. Just take this to heart. And not just with a nod of your head because it is in the Bible and because, yeah, everything the preacher's about to say is it's true and it's all going to make somewhat kind of sense. But, no, I don't mean just like that. But you would, like, take it and try to hide it in your heart for real. And I know I say this every now and again, but go home, make some three-by-five cards, hang it on your mirror where you've been doing your hair or whatever. Commit it to memory. Uh, think about it, okay? Go ahead and, 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 and repeat it to yourself during the day. And, and, and all of these points I'm getting ready to give you and what they what, what it means and kind of break it down in your mind. Here's what I'm saying. Actually institute this scripture into your life. And I guarantee you, guarantee things will change. They can't but not. Because God said so. Proverbs chapter number three, verse number five and verse number six. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. It's amazing to me how we as children of God, we have an all-knowing, all-powerful, everywhere all at the same time, Father. But we choose to do things of our own accord. We choose to handle things in our own manner. We choose to do things according to our own will. I mean, he, he is all-knowing. If it was just that one right there, he knows what the next minute brings. He knows what the next, put your hand down. He knows what the next hour brings. He knows, he knows everything. Yep. Past, pre, man, that just the past, I forget so much stuff that, you know what I mean? If I could just remember everything from the past, I'd be all much better off. He knows everything from the past, everything in the right now. He knows it all. He knows everything that everybody in this room is going through. Right this second, he understands. He knows everything that's going to happen to everybody in this room. Even if you just had that alone, but you add on top of that, that he's all powerful. He has all the power in the world. He is the one that spoke the world into existence. Right. He just said, let there be light. And just like that, it happened. You didn't come from a monkey. I don't care what the science books say. I don't care what the college professors say. Okay. Uh, boy, there's a bunch of mean stuff you can say right there. I better just go on. Boy, you know. He's everywhere all at the same time. Yep. But yet, we'll choose to do things our way. 
that's just not very small. <laughs> to, to put it kindly. Yeah. It's like you ever, I, 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 mean, I had so many kids and they've all done it. And they, well, they, you know, and there's a measure of truth to even the teenagers, you know, even us adults, is what I'm preaching right now. We want to do it ourselves. But you know, like a little big baby, whatever, you know, or just a toddler, and true, and Z, when they was toddling around, whatever daddy was doing, they wanted to do. Or what? Or they would be trying to do something. You ever, you ever had a little kid, a little toddler, trying to do something? It's kind of cute. You, but then you get down there and you try to help them. About the first thing, all mine say, "Daddy, I do it. Daddy, I do it." Same way, even as they get older, they'll come over to shop sometimes, and they'll uh, kind of be helping me. To, you know, it's always, it's always uh, more interesting to do the things you ain't never done yet. You know what I mean? Who wouldn't want to go over and start painting the car? Just get your paint gun out, start pouring some paint in, and start painting that thing. Well, I'm here to tell you that ain't happening. <laughs> you ain't painting nothing over here of mine, or that I'm responsible for. Not yet. You get your little scuff pad out, amen. And get it right back. And scuff your little heart out, amen. Even that, I come back and redo a lot of times because if you don't get it all done up in the corner, the paint comes off. And I can't have that either. Mm -hmm. Daddy, I'll do it. Well, listen, I do understand the need to learn. But what we as children of God need to understand is how to learn. That little kid that says, Daddy, I do it. Daddy, let me do it. Okay, I understand the need for you to do things on your own, but the greater need is for you to be taught. The greater need right. is for you to understand hey, and learn from the one that knows way more than you. That's him. Amen. You see what I'm saying? I mean, I understand the need for us to walk on our own two feet. That's why God ain't in that business. He ain't going to float your Bible over to you and set it in right. your lap so you'll read that thing. you got to get up and go get it. Amen. He'll meet with you when you do. Does that make sense? We're just like children when it comes to this dependent on self or God thing. I mean, it's like, look, why, why would you want to do that? Why would a child want to be dependent on themselves? Again, I understand the need to learn, but why would you want to be dependent on yourself when you have an authority figure who, right. who knows uh, the, the backward, the medium, and the, and the future uh, on exactly what you're trying to do? Yeah. Spend a little bit of time getting the instruction, learning it, hey, having them hold your hand while you do it, and then you can do it right all on your own. Yeah. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall, he shall direct your path. Amen. Amen. See me listen to Cody, amen. I'm telling you, that fella can shift the corn now. And y'all adults go and listen to it. So you can come in here and shout her out Sunday morning, amen. Amen. <laughs> all right, so I am ending off this video by doing the least favorite chore and that is folding and putting away laundry i hate this task it is my least favorite thing i always procrastinate and leave it to the last because i just strongly dislike it but i know i gotta do it and so here we are doing it so I don't know why it's my least favorite chore. It just is. It's It always has been. I don't know. I, I don't know. Does anybody else have that struggle? Let me know down below. <laughs> um, I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. And I hope that it really has given you the motivation that you have needed. Or if you just needed a good little pick-me-up, I hope that it gave you that too. I just really want to encourage y'all to just keep your head up and some days I know it's daunting and you may seem like things cannot get done and my advice is just take chore chores one thing at a time and it will get done. It doesn't have to get done in a complete day. I have chores that I didn't get all done tonight but you know what there's always tomorrow 
And you know what? If the only thing that you accomplished today was waking up, well, that's a, that's at least you accomplished one thing, and that's the most important thing. And I just want to thank you guys for your unending support and love on my YouTube journey. And I hope that this video just gives you all the motivation that you need and just know that you are not in this homemaking journey alone and that I am always here to help motivate you along the way. And all right, y'all, yeah. that is going to be it for today's video. I hope that you guys will enjoy. And if you guys like these kind of videos, make sure to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification button for all my future videos. I post every Sunday and Thursday and every other Tuesday. And so I hope that you guys will subscribe and join our little community that we have here. All right. Y'all just know that I love you and Jesus loves you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.